Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and how are you this 5th of May, Cinco de Mayo? Cinco de Mayo, what does that mean? It might be a term you heard, a sign you saw at the grocery store, or something you heard on the radio. Cinco de Mayo is actually just the 5th of May. That's what it means. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a history lesson real quick because this is something that I used to teach and I used to love teaching it and celebrating it. Cinco de Mayo is actually more of an Americanized holiday. There's a lot of misconceptions that Cinco de Mayo is the Mexican New Year or Mexican Independence Day. That is not true. In actuality, Cinco de Mayo was not celebrated nationally or federally in Mexico. Cinco de Mayo happened long after Mexico gained its independence. What happened was, in this little town called Puebla, where they had farmers and it was a small community, they defended their land. The French, under Napoleon, wanted to invade and take over Mexico. So Napoleon, all of his trained soldiers with all of their equipment and their training and their experience came over and started to invade Mexico. And the people of Puebla, they were able to stop Napoleon from invading. So they, and it was on the 5th of May, Cinco de Mayo, they called it the Battle of Puebla. And it was a celebration because they were the underdog. They were able to stop these trained soldiers from taking over their land. Now there's more to that story and it progresses, but I just wanted to give you a little brief history lesson on Cinco de Mayo. Now we have fun and we celebrate, and even today at school, as part of Teacher Appreciation Week, we are going to have a little taco and nacho bar at school for the teachers, just because who doesn't like tacos? All right, ladies and gentlemen, what else do I have for today? It is virtual Wednesday. That means from 10 to 1, breakfast and lunch will be distributed outside of our school for all of our virtual students so stop by and grab your meals it is going to be a decent day out not as nice as yesterday a high of 62 there will be some rain today how about the rain last night did it rain hard by your house um our fourth graders good luck to them that will be taking their fourth grade pssa science section and then our third fourth and fifth graders that had come two weeks ago from ela will be finishing their last section of ela this week if you have any questions give us a call otherwise you have a wonderful fifth of may enjoy your day bye boys and girls